My first ever 100 km flight does not start as planned. During the takeoff I hear a snap and then I can't extend my legs into the harness. Something must be wrong with the lines inside the pod as I can only fly with my knees bent. I know I have to be careful as I don't want to get the things worse. First of all, I look to the left and right to check if the speed lines are not affected. Then I realize the snap I heard was the chest strap breaking away from the harness. Fuck, I need to land, I thought. After the initial shock and calming down a bit, I decide to try to fix the problems. I focus on staying away from the thermals and fixing the pot so I can extend my legs again. Finally it works. Now I just need to tie the chest strap back to the harness and I can go back to flying. After 4 minutes of, let's call it, exciting moments, I can start off with the adventure. It's 1.30 pm at Kobala takeoff, with very light wind coming from the east. After using the first thermal, I move to Kobilia Glava to reach the 2400 meter cloud base from where I can start my first glide. I try to stick to the clouds as I move towards the Vodel and Mirzlivierch. I use the beginner cross country rule, use every lift to get to the cloud base, especially before long transitions between the mountains. As they say, the higher you are, the stronger the lift. I jump to the Kirn Ridge and stick to it to use its anabatic flow. It works fantastic and I slowly get to the Kirn Peak at the end. As I approach it, I max out the altitude and use the cloud sack to take the 6 km crossing to the Stoll Ridge. Here it's very important to come as high as possible as it helps to avoid turbulent valley wind that's always present in the first part of the ridge. The stall ridge heats up and it sucks the air from the valley visible to the left. The lower you are, the more unpleasant it gets. Strong face wind, sudden lift, gusts and sinks. I just buckle up and fly straight. As soon as I pass the valley, the turbulence stops and now I can just fly straight and enjoy the ride. First thermal I use to gain some altitude is at the stall peak. The next part is a bit tricky, for two reasons. The first one is the fact that there's almost no landing options, so I do everything I can to stay as high as possible. The second one is the Punta di Monte Maggiore, a peak where winds and lee side mix up causing a lot of turbulence. I want to fly over it really high. I even go back a bit to max out the height. You can see how it slows me down when I fly over it. After crossing the peak, the flight to the end of the stall ridge is pretty easy. I climb in stronger lifts to position myself properly to take the last crossing on my journey to Gemoda. The valley transition is around 4 km wide, but I really don't want to mess the things up, so once again I take my time, and honestly, even longer than usual as I kind of miss the thermal to get to the cloud base before making the leap. Now I made a transition. From now on, it's just a matter of going to the end of the ridge to see the beautiful city of Gemona under my feet, the Adriatic Sea at the horizon and fantastic mountains to the north. The whole flight is very scenic and super spectacular. I don't rush myself as I really do enjoy the views and extraordinary conditions I have the privilege to fly today. I was told that very often the wind in the area changes during the day from east to west. That was the case today, so I'm heading back with the tail slash crosswind. I'm just jumping from cloud to cloud and I'm getting more relaxed. This time I transition just to hit the fields at the side of the stall ridge. With every thermal I'm getting blown away behind the ridge, so getting to cloud base is pointless. I decide to keep flying straight. This time I avoid the turbulence of Monte Maggiore by flying around it. Here I'm starting to notice that the ridge isn't working that good anymore. I want to fly back taking different route through the Polovets ridge visible to the left, but I can't really make the height to cross the valley. 
I clearly missed the party at the last thermal on the stall peak, so I promised to myself that I'll go to Polovets tomorrow. But now, as the stall reach is getting lower and I'm struggling to get higher, I decide to go back through the so-called tits, which are two small hills that tend to have pretty good lift. And here's where I fuck up. Instead of sticking to the tits plan, I try to join another paraglider in front of me. I end up in a super weak lift and small valley wind. Lucky me, I decide to stick to the forest side of the valley and find a thermal. I approach it with a lot of determination as I don't want to land yet. And yeah, the thermal takes me high enough so I can continue my journey back home. At this stage, I know I'll make it to the landing site, so I spend some time enjoying the views and just rambling around below the beautiful cloud ceiling above my head. I can already see Tolmin and the takeoff. After I reach Kobala, I decide to burn some height by practicing some wingovers, which I absolutely love doing every time I can. As Tio says, it's weight shift, break, outside, hands up, 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 weight shift, break, outside, hands up. Ah uh, yeah, fuck me that, I just love doing them so much. And I mean it, uh, the feeling of them is just wow. So yeah, the air is still lifty, so after a while I'm giving them another go. And for your sake, I will shut up this time. Enough with the wingovers. I also try to top land, but due to the thermic conditions and still not feeling comfortable with top landings on hills like this, I abort the mission. So much to learn here. But as I'm already here, I try to approach the hill again. But I honestly don't feel it yet. What I feel is not enough skill. But I tried, haven't I? At this stage, I decide to fuck off and take the final, absolutely gorgeous glide over the Tolmin city back to the landing site of Camp Gabriel. It's my first 100km flight, I'm alive and happy as a kid in the candy land. It's time to land and treat myself with a cold beer. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, cheers! cheers.